Today's show will be hosted in Ace Hardware in Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. Ace is a proud sponsor of the River Kings, helping donate to our locker room and our team events. Ace is a place of the helpful hardware man. Thanks for hosting today's River Kings show with RCAA Media and Tom Laux. Today's players are Harrison Cole, Alex Sara, Kyle Lane, and Ryan Mance. For the River Kings wrap-up of the weekend, the River Kings swept the Decatur Blaze in a three-game series. How do you guys feel that went? I thought we played a very hard weekend. Uh, I mean, it was tough at the same time. Uh, it was a good thing that uh, we pulled out six points over the weekend, battled through it. I thought it was a really good weekend. Uh, we got six points. Is what That's what we went there for, is to get six points from the te that team. And I thought it went really good. I wasn't here, but I heard it went pretty good. Uh, I thought it was a good weekend. We went in there, got the uh, six points that we needed to get, and there was a lot of positives that we could take from the weekend. And we've recently just picked up a new goalie, Kyle Lane, from the Wisconsin Dells Ducks. So he's a new addition to our team. Um, you can spot the River Kings at any local store during community bell ringing for the Salvation Army for this whole month. And we'll also be participating in uh, uh, ornament making with the Wisconsin Rapids Might team. Let's introduce Harrison Cole. Harrison, where are you from? Where did you play last year? And um, what made you want to become a River King? Uh, I'm from a small town uh, south of Chicago called New Lenox, Illinois. And I played for Lincoln Way High School. We weren't very good last year, but uh, I came to the River Kings to see how good I could be as a player and help my teammates out as much as possible and move on to the next level. Now, you're a big addition to this team. What do you feel your role is on and off the ice? Um, my role on the ice, since I'm a defenseman, stop pucks and make plays. Um, and then off the ice, I work my butt off as hard as possible and get, get as good as possible at the same time. You've lived in Wisconsin Rapids for probably four months now. Who, do you, who is your favorite person you've met here so far? Uh, I want to say the boys, hanging out with the boys every day. Uh, it's a blast being with them, skating with them, also hanging out with them. So. All right, take us through your game day routine, start to finish. Well, when I wake up, I get a good breakfast in, and then I go meet the boys for a meeting and after that go get a good lunch in, rest, rest up for the game and then get there two hours before and then uh, yeah just prepare for a battle. What would you say your favorite thing about the town is? Um, I love the people here, they're very generous, everyone knows each other, it's very laid back here. <clears throat> Alright, and uh, how many years have you played hockey for? I've been playing hockey for 15 years. Awesome, thank you Harrison. Now I'd like to introduce Alex Sarah. Alec, who are your line mates this season? Explain what kind of bond you have with them. Uh, my line mates is our Austin Quarters from Bozeman, Montana, and Tyler Alberts from Ohio. I have a very good connection with them. They're great guys on and off the ice. Um, we have pretty good chemistry. I love playing with them. All right. Who do you live with this season? What's your best memory with your host family? Um, I live with Marty Quarters, Coach Quarters, uh, and LaDonna Quarters. And uh, I'd have to say my best memory was my birthday, just because it's my first time away from home, and they they put on they did great. They act like I was at home. It felt like I was at home. Just a great experience. All right. Now, obviously, you're not going to play the river with the River Kings forever. So, what are your future goals after that? Future goals is to move on, go as far as I can in hockey, and to eventually play college hockey. Now, the real question is, who's your favorite roommate? That's a good question, Austin. That's a hard one. I'd have to say my favorite roommate is going to have to be Austin Quarters, just because I've known him for so long, and I grew up with him back in Cheyenne, Wyoming. When we were younger, we played on Team Wyoming, and he was my line mate back then, too, and now I'm thankful for him to be my line mate this year. So I'm going to have to say you're my favorite, or Austin Quarters is my favorite roommate. All right, as a third-year veteran in our locker room, a very important asset to our team, what do you feel you need to do as a player on an everyday basis to make sure your team is focused and ready to go? Uh, I feel like every day I just have to push, push the team, get them going and practice, keep everyone focused up and ready for the weekend. Just got to push everyone and make sure everyone's focused up. All right. Thank you, Alec. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce our new goalie, Kyle Lane. Kyle, what made you decide to come to the River Kings after playing on the powerful Wisconsin Dells Ducks? Um, I felt like it was a better opportunity for me to get more playing time, and I liked what Coach Cordes has done with this program. Similar to the Ducks, but a lot more laid back, which I like, and uh, it's a lot less stressful and easier to play. Is this your first year playing junior hockey? And where did you play last season? Yes, it is, and I played for Coyle and Cassidy High School in Massachusetts. All right. 
Take us through the mindset of a goalie when you're on the ice during a game. Um, you're focused on the next save. Never, you can't think too far ahead. And usually I got a song I'm singing in my head all game. What song do you sing? <sighs> Whatever it is that day that's stuck in my head, really. <laughs> all right. Um, how many years have you played hockey for? Roughly 13, 14 years. Awesome. What's your favorite pregame meal? Uh, Wisconsin mac and cheese from Noodles. <laughs> of course. Um, who do you live with here now? I live with the Johnsons. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. Now I'd like to introduce Ryan Mance. You came back from a serious concussion early in the season. How does it feel to be back with the team? Uh, it feels great to be back with the team. Uh, I've been looking forward to uh, playing here for a while, and the concussion kind of set that back a couple months. But uh, it's been great since I've been back and just getting used to playing juniors now. What would you say your favorite outdoor activity is in Wisconsin Rapids? Uh, we played soccer a couple times as a team. That was pretty fun. So, um, Have you played junior games before? Uh, I played a couple uh, expedition games uh, against Northern Michigan with the River Kings uh, past year. Other than that, not really. All right, so you have a little bit of experience. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite memory from the season so far? Uh, favorite memory so far would uh, probably be flying out to Boston, and uh, when we got four wins out there, got to see Boston, which was uh, really nice, and getting the four wins on was uh, made that a little bit better also. All right, um, what players do you live with on the team? I live with Sam Nelson and uh, Tyler Carey. What do you think about them? I love them both. They're both good guys and uh, great roommates. How do you prepare yourself for practice every day? I uh, usually wake up, get a good breakfast in, uh, drink lots of water before practice, uh, get to the rink, tape my stick, and uh, usually go play sewer with the boys and try to get out on the ice a little early, work on some things before practice starts. You know that your purchase of frosty cold delicious beverages must be kept within the beer garden area. And Jewel be trying to get stands. control of the puck. All but did. Shot it on goal. All but's a backhander. Ulrich a second save there. We've got a helmet on the ice. Someone's lost their helmet. Apparently it's a player who's off the ice now. Oh, big hit by Jewel. Sends a blade player down and he's stunned. It's Gustafson. Now I'd like to introduce our special guests, Coach Quarters and Dominic Flamini. Coach Quarters, how long have you been coaching at the junior level for? I've been coaching at the junior level now for 18 years. All right, what would you say your routine is on a game day? Uh, my main routine on the game day is to get up early, have a good breakfast, um, drink lots of water, and, and kind of get ready, uh, get to the rink early, uh, make sure we have our notes up, make sure the locker room's in place, um, get the lineup cards up, uh, keys to victory on the board, and, and then I like to come home and, and try to have a few hours um, relaxing and preparing for the game and maybe have a um, uh, half a sandwich, bowl of soup, spend some time with my wife and our dog, and uh, shower up get the suit on, head back over to the rink with um, Wayne Brown and Jesse Brown. They do so much for our team and pretty much on game day, um, once I show back up two hours beforehand, everything's ready and good to go and, and hopefully the boys are prepared for a good battle. All right, how would you say you prepare your players for a game weekend? Well, we have practice Monday through Thursday and I think um, all, all coaches, uh, that's kind of their, their work week right there and, and the weekend's kind of for the players to play. So we, um, uh, we like to have harder practice at the beginning of the week, uh, make sure we're up on video, we're prepared for um, who we have either coming in our building or if it's a road game. And we kind of just uh, like to work all week and then as Thursday comes around get more positive and uh, make sure the boys are prepared and ready to fly on the weekend. Um, Where did you play hockey growing up? I'm from Detroit area so I, I grew up in Oak Park, Michigan. I played um, uh, Southfield Hockey Club and then I played for Little Caesars growing up. All right, as we all know, you teach the River Kings a lot of life lessons, but what life lessons have you learned from us through the season so far? None. No. <laughs> Patience? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I've learned a lot from the, from the guys. The one thing about coaching, um, I've been coaching now 23 years, so it's like I haven't had a job in 23 years. So being around the players keeps you young, keeps you fresh. Um, uh, kind of learned that um, these guys are making big sacrifices. Um, it keeps me on my toes about the lessons I'm trying to preach to them, that I kind of follow the same thing. And um, just being around the boys every day uh, um, is a life lesson in itself with um, seeing guys that are highly motivated and, and dedicated to um, trying to achieve something in their life through something they love. Um, I learn from them every day. All right, thank you, Coach Quarters.
Now we'll ask Dom some questions. Dom, how has the River Kings helped the Southwood County Youth Hockey Association since their arrival? Well, they bring a bigger awareness to the game of hockey for a small community like we have, and they also show commitment and dedication to the youth skaters. Uh, shows them that next level of, of commitment, what it takes on and off the ice to be bigger than high school and maybe move on to college, pros, whatever their dreams are. Do you attend many River Kings games? I don't think I've, I think I've missed one River King game since you guys, or I should say one home game. Don't make many away games because you guys are getting out there, but I have made most of them. Who's your favorite River King and why? Ah, uh, it's hard for me to pick one certain River King. Uh, I like everybody on that team. They all do a certain job and they have a certain thing that they do do well. Uh, be it attitude, game knowledge, hustle, uh, ten tenac tenacity, tenacity on the puck. Uh, getting the goals and that's the key to the game and you got to do it as a team. I like the team. All right. How do the River Kings help in the Rapids community and what kind of positive effect do we bring? Well, I think it goes back to showing some leadership skills to the younger kids that are, you know, around you guys all the time. I see you guys ringing bells, you know, out the Walgreens and County Market and putting that name out there for the community and just showing, you know, good attitude, good leadership skills. All right. Now, what got you started into hockey? Well, I wasn't a hockey player, but my son started about eight years ago, and that took me to the ice, and from then on, it's been hockey. That's awesome. Who's your favorite NHL team? Well, there's only one NHL team. That'd be the Blackhawks. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Dom. You're welcome. Thank you. Right there. The late offside against the Blades. Luxford's got a man behind the defense. Harkins in alone. He shoots. He scores! Uh, today's show is, is being hosted at Ace Hardware on Ace Street. And the Flamini family has been big supporters of the River Kings. Not only are we uh, proud to be hosting a show here and, and in their, their beautiful store that's uh, well run. I know I do most of my shopping here when I need things at home. But they're also tremendous supporters, not just for the River Kings, but all of youth hockey and uh, youth sports in general. Um, I've gotten to know Dominic and, and Michael here, and, and their son Colton has been able to skate with us a little bit. And he's a freshman on the high school hockey team, and um, it kind of runs true with, with building hockey up and down the river, um, building some of these contacts that we've made, and, and being able to host the show here at Ace is, is just another step in the right direction with the River Kings. And, um, we're, we're proud to be working with, uh, with ACE and we're very, um, very grateful of all the generosity they've shown us. So um, I'm going to ask Dom a couple questions here. Um, uh, your boy is a, a freshman now in high school and he's on the varsity hockey team. How is that going so far? Uh, he's had his ups and downs. It's uh, a big step coming off the Bantam lines and going to a varsity line level skating. Speed's a little faster and game's a little stronger. So. Uh, he had a couple tough games getting used to it, but he's starting to come around, I think. Spoken like uh, a true father, it's, it's hard on his son. Um, Colton also had uh, the game-winning goal in the last high school hockey game, varsity game as a freshman. So uh, him and um, Spencer Sparks are, are two of the freshmen, and they're also two, two Bantams that skated with our team last year. And um, really proud to see the improvement and, and seeing players coming up through the youth program. Um, getting up to uh, the high school program and hopefully become River Kings in the future. And um, with, with Dom, uh, what are Colton's goals for the future? Uh, I think he shares a lot of the same goals as most skaters out there. You know, he wants to pursue hockey as far as he can, of course. He'd love to get a little college, you know, action in there and, you know, dream big. You know, of course, he wants that pro contract, and I would too, I guess. Absolutely. Now, uh, talking a little bit about the store, um, uh, we have Austin Quarters and Alex Sierra here on the show, and, and I know um, uh, Harrison Cole's family comes up fishing a lot in the summer, and, and Ryan Mance is a little bit of an outdoors guy as well. I'm not too sure about uh, Kyle here because we just met him. Um, tell us a little bit about the store and, and the sporting goods, and, and um, I know my son's uh, spent a few time, a little bit of time in here with the fishing department. Uh, just what, what you have to offer on the sporting side of things at Ace. Oh, you know, we offer just about anything that any sportsman would want. We've got a pretty strong fishing department, real strong sporting good department, you know, firearms, ammo, licenses, live bait. You know, I mean, if you want to get out in the woods and you want to play, 
I mean, it's in here. There's, there's no doubt you can't get what you want in this building to go out in the woods and have a good time. We want to thank you very much for all your support and having us here today. And uh, if you get a chance, stop by Ace. If you need something for um, hardware, want to shoot a gun and go hunting or you want to catch a fish, great place to be and great staff here. Um, before I knew Dom, I came in here and, and uh, it, they're never, you're never going to walk uh, too long through the front door without someone trying to help you and help you find what you need. So thanks, Dom, and thank your uh, father, Michael, for having us today. Sure. Well, thank you for, uh, for doing what you do for the community. Great job you guys do. Thank you. Game River King 6-1. Moving out. Van Bakkelen is on the wing. He's got it. He's coming in. He, oh, beautiful play as Van Bakkelen sets up Harkins for the hat trick. Tyler Harkins, third goal of the night on a beautiful feed. Just an absolutely beautiful feed from Van Bakkelen. All right, now I'm going to ask these guys just a couple of questions to end the show today. Um, who would you say is the most improved player so far this year? Uh, I want to say it's uh, Michael Stitchy because he's worked his butt off a lot. Uh, and he helped us out a lot. And uh, I think he's improved a lot since he's been here. And he keeps improving. I would have to say Darius Rodzinski came in here good player and now he's great player he's got a hard shot from the point really good vision of the ice and just great passing finds a passing lane right away I think Darius Rodzinski is the most improved hockey player um I haven't been here for long but what I've seen is Gil works really hard so I'm gonna have to go with uh Gil on this one uh, I'd have to say uh Nick Demchuk uh he works hard every day in practice and uh you could tell it pays off. I think he's definitely been the most improved player so far this season. All right. Who would you say is the best looking guy on the team this season? I want to say Ryan Gill because he's got the perfect hair. I wish I had, ha I wish I had his hair. So, yeah, he's a good looking kid. I would also have to say Darius Rosinski. <laughs> his hair is, I wish I had his hair. He's a tall guy, muscular guy. Just a good looking guy, Darius Rosinski. I'm going to have to go with Sam Nelson on this one because, for the most part, he's my vet. And I think I'd get in trouble if I didn't say him. But he's got really nice hair, and I like his tattoos a lot. I'm also going to have to say Sam Nelson, and not just because he's my roommate, and I'd get in trouble if I didn't say him. But uh, I like the mustache that he kept going after uh, No Shave November. He didn't shave it, and definitely like that mustache. All right, so Christmas is coming up, so we're just going to ask you a couple questions about that. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas is uh, spending time with family and just being around the family, just a lot of fun, hanging out with them during, on Christmas and Christmas Eve. Uh, my favorite part about Christmas is uh, just the spirit, being around the Christmas tree, watching Christmas movies, and of course being with the family is always good. Those are my favorite parts about Christmas. My favorite part about Christmas has got to be the hot chocolate and the presents, just like a little kid. Uh, my favorite part about Christmas would probably be uh, just spending time with my family, and uh, hot chocolate's also nice. <laughs> All right. Where are you sp spending your Christmas this summer, or this winter, and with who? Um, I'm spending my Christmas in Illinois with my family, uh, and we're my entire family. I'm hanging out with them. Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, and looking forward to it. <laughs> um, I'll be spending my Christmas in Cheyenne, Wyoming, which is where I'm from, just with my whole entire family. I got family coming from all over the place to come celebrate. I'll be spending my Christmas in Boston, Mass, with uh, my parents and my two little sisters. And uh, I'll be spending Christmas uh, in my hometown of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and uh, be spending Christmas with uh, with all my family down there. All right. Now, what do you guys want for Christmas? Uh, I need a new set of headphones because mine broke recently. So that's what I'm looking forward to for Christmas, to get a nice new pair of headphones. Uh, I need a new hockey stick. I broke my last one last home series, so I'm looking for a new hockey stick. Yeah, I'm looking for a couple new sticks, too, because the guys here shoot a little bit harder than back in the Dells, figuring I'm going to break a couple more sticks. 
Uh, if I, one thing I want for Christmas probably be uh, gas cards. Uh, <laughs> gas is kind of expensive, so anytime I don't have to pay for that out of my own pocket, that's nice. All right, thank you guys. Um, come on out to the Southwood County Rec Center this weekend. We play Friday and Saturday night at 7.30 against the Detroit Fighting Irish. So if you're looking for a good time and watch some hockey, come and watch us play. Thank you.